is the Ebola virus, dangerous and highly infectious. Ebola causes hemorrhagic fevers and kills half of those infected. Disease symptoms are so harsh, doctors consider it one of the worst ailments ever encountered. I think what really makes it frightening is the high mortality rate, uh, the very severe symptoms that people experience, and you know the fact that it comes up when not expected. Dr. Paul Spearman, director of infectious diseases at Cincinnati Children's, is the lead investigator of a clinical trial that is testing an experimental vaccine to fight Ebola. No one has ever done such a rapid prime boost of these products. So we're giving one vaccine and followed one week later by another vaccine. And that could give you very rapid protection as well as potentially very durable protection if we get the type of responses we're trying to achieve. You also want the immunity induced by this vaccine to last long. Dr. Karnal Singh at Cincinnati Children's leads sample testing for the study. We have baseline after one week, after two weeks, and we, can, we compare the three and then see what difference vaccination makes. Preclinical testing of the vaccine was promising. And if this clinical trial shows the vaccine is effective at protecting people from Ebola, it could be deployed in the world's hardest hit areas, such as the Democratic Republic of Congo, a poor resource challenged country in Central Africa, experiencing an outbreak that has already killed hundreds. These epidemics that occur in uh, several parts of Africa can arise without warning. The vaccine has no Ebola virus particles and won't cause an Ebola infection in study volunteers, but it does produce a major Ebola virus protein and is designed to force the immune system to sense and react to it. Study participants are well aware of the importance of the work being done. Anything that we can do with research, through research, to stop it or prevent it, or make it so that it's not something that grows rapidly or spreads rapidly, then I think being a part of something like that is worth it. So you've got plasma, you've got white blood cells, this gel, and then the red blood cells below. To see if the vaccine works, researchers test the volunteers' blood samples, which are collected before they receive the experimental vaccine and after. Scientists then look for specific biological markers in the blood to see if the vaccine is stimulating an immune response and protecting against the Ebola virus. This could provide clues for other Ebola vaccines. It also could derive basic principles of vaccination that allow us to understand the nature of protective immunity to other pathogens.